All right, welcome back to our live show for the Mountain Games. Chris Anthony joining us. Chris, you're getting busy now, right? Yeah, I'm getting really busy. You made it through a good winter, healthy, all good. Just got back from Italy, like yesterday oh, morning. You're working on your project, your 10th yeah. mountain project. Yeah, so it was pretty cool, you know, to come from there to here and be part of this amazing thing, you know, just to, this whole week's gonna be a blast, a lot of fun events, so a yeah. lot of some fun stuff. So I got I a swag bag. You got, you got, got so the, what do you have there? You know, we got the Costa sunglasses yeah. that you just told me and informed me. These are all made out of a uh, fishing net. So, yeah, they, so they, they're doing a program called Untangled, and we're going to talk to Peter later on about this program. And they're, they, they're collecting all the, the fishing nets that are lost in the oceans, and they are recycling them and making sunglass frames out of them. So they're cleaning the oceans. It's a it. pretty amazing program. And you got some what on your what do you have on your feet? The Olokai. These are uh <laughs> I almost just lost it. The uh nice. the, and these are made from materials that um are like all environmentally friendly. So each pair of shoes that have been made are a little bit different color than the other parts pair. There's so there's no solid one of a foundation, kind. you know it's one of a kind pair of shoes. Hey so I want to talk about the ultimate mountain challenge yes we, they did it they've done it in years past where it was just three events that you actually signed up for they started to introduce the new version of it last year but what can people expect because it's 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 another neat way to approach being an athlete here at the games it, this is i think the coolest of the events but i'm the spokesperson for it but it, everybody that enters into the mountain games whether you're doing yoga or just the dog walk or anything you get a point and that point goes to an overall accumulation so the way i like to think about it it's like who's going for the overall like the tour de france and okay. the most points are the lowest time frame there but who's going to collect the most points so then it becomes very strategic like what events out of this massive schedule this week are you going to enter to collect points and then which ones are you really good at that you could potentially collect more points because if you end up on the podium you're going to get uh, multiple points right and then depending on the difficulty of the event that you choose Correct. if you end up on the mo the podium then you even get a, more of a multiple so let's say you're doing the steep creek challenge today which is a really difficult event and you podium you're going to probably collect or you know win you're going to get nine points towards your umc okay. but that means if you're going to be that guy and go for and who's probably a specialist in, in kayak, he's right. probably going to have to cross over and do a running event or do a biking event or something else to try to collect more points towards that. So ultimately, the ultimate mountain challenge is the person that really can f be a great athlete, but also do that chess game of figuring out different events to be in during the week, during the four days, and come down to it. Last year, Gretchen Reeves, a local here, she won the, the women's, and she, you know, she's a awesome world-class cyclist so she of course did the cycling events but then she had to find the other stuff so she was doing some running she did some kayaking of course she hit the yoga and uh, she collected like 35 points it was, it was pretty amazing it's pretty neat when you think about it like people start they're here the athletes are here they're doing their one of their first events and they're like yeah i could actually i guess i could do that event too yeah. maybe i could run up and do peppy's face off and yeah. crush myself and earn some big points there but that will definitely um, show you really like how diverse some of these athletes really are. It's diversity, but it's also, you know, you got to pace yourself out because if you, a lot of the pros, for example, they're coming here specifically for their event, right? You know, whether it's kayaking or they're a professional mountain biker, but all of a sudden they got to cross over and they could burn themselves out on that and it could affect the sport that they're actually, their sponsors or whoever, like, hey, we need you to place well over here. Okay. So it's a gamble, you know, how do you, how are you going to pull this whole thing off in the next four days? So every day we get to check in with you and find out yep. the standings of who's doing what. It'll be kind of interesting to see how this is all going to play out. Yeah, because there are definitely people yep. that are going for it. They're specifically, I know Gretchen's focused on it. And in the men's category, I got to see over there who's going to do it. Okay. At last year, it was kind of like the kayakers all of a sudden realized they were in the point standings. So then they were signing up for other yeah. events. They were like, going, right. I got to go run over and do yoga because I could get another point and it can put me on the podium on the UMC. Right. So it's, it's a really cool time. All right, Chris Anthony here, the UMC spokesperson. We're going to take it to Eric next. He has a look at your weather forecast through the weekend.